In this section, you'll set the criteria for the audience who will see your ad. Starting with frequency caps, you'll find flight, advertiser, and campaign level options. The extra settings can be used to make sure your campaign reach isn't affected by users who fit the targeting criteria across multiple flights in the same campaign. Layered frequency caps are a great tool for extending reach and maximizing budget. Clicking Match Devices reinforces your frequency caps by ensuring that you bid on inventory that allows cookies or includes a device ID. The Geography section is really for any type of location targeting. As you can see, the basic targeting includes dropdowns for country, region, and city or area. List filtering, or radius targeting, is more advanced and it's become the targeting option of choice for many programmatic buyers. Radius targeting provides accurate geolocation for buyers, such as brick and mortar shops, auto dealerships, and event promoters. Let's say there's an industry event in downtown Toronto. We might combine radius targeting with daytime parting, where our ads only run during the hours of the event, and the radius targeting allows us to reach people in the specific neighborhood. Device Located ensures that your ads run only on devices where latitude and longitude information is available. DMA and postal codes can also be targeted. The Categories section is the hub of audience retargeting in Trader, and where you utilize valuable audience data. Here we can see an example of a standard audience segment pixel and a universal pixel, which allows you to segment the audience according to your desired characteristics. In any case, once you've generated activity on an audience segment, this is where you target that audience. As an example, e-commerce buyers commonly target audiences based on when they entered the path to conversion, and they can also use the exclusion rules to prevent converted users from seeing the ads. It's a smart way to keep your budget optimized to users who are close to conversion. Here's an example of audience targeting with the universal tag. This online retailer combines dynamic creative optimization with custom segments. In this case, the targetable segment is one where customers have started a shopping cart with home products, but didn't yet buy. Now the advertiser can target these shoppers with related products and perhaps include an added incentive to encourage them to convert. The audience targeting in Trader is also flexible, allowing for integration with your DMP. Next, you'll find Low to Me Audiences for Demographic Targeting. These options come in handy for buyers looking for audiences with specific attributes like gender or age. Insurance companies, banks, credit card vendors, and other buyers may also use advanced demographics like education and income level. If you want to make sure your ad runs exclusively to specific devices or operating systems, you can select those rules in Devices. Exclusions are helpful for campaigns where your reports show lesser performance on certain devices, or perhaps you exclude devices where your ad won't display optimally. Thankfully, HTML5 is making it easier than ever to run a single ad to multiple devices. Save a preset for faster configuration on upcoming flights. IP filtering is an invaluable tool for strategies like event retargeting. A digital marketer might capitalize on a local industry conference by running a mobile display campaign to the event's IP address. As a result, people see the marketer's ads while they're at the event. Our marketer can then create an audience segment from the users who saw the ad and retarget them in future campaigns. User targeting is a key component in successful programmatic buys. Once you define what your campaign objectives are, you can configure your flight to reach as specific or as wide an audience as you need. And with Trader's robust API, almost any customization is possible.